Okay, I need to show you something pretty cool. I got here a uh, Pixel Watch 2 with uh, wow mouse installed. And um, here is a Xiaomi TV stick, like a Fire TV stick, uh, paired to a, or connected to a power bank. And this is an HDMI to USB-C adapter from Xreal. And this is the Xreal Air 2 Smart Glass. And on my iPad, you see a screen mirroring to the Xiaomi stack. So at the moment, you basically see what I see through the glasses. There's a little... Okay. And now you should also be able to see my hand movements. Let's see. I'll double tap, I'm opening Netflix. And double tap again, starting the movie. And I can move forward. And if I change to media mode, I can uh, and here you see what is happening. Here you see the volume bar. I'll decrease volume and with wow mouse pro you have basically the possibility to have three um three presets mouse clicker and media and each preset you can map any gesture to any mapping and uh hot swap between each of them and here also quite handy swipe typing you need to, I don't know, search something. You can also use the voice mode. Yeah, it's much better than, than using the remote of, like this remote to type. Um, yeah, that is uh, what's possible nowadays with wow mouse. Pretty exciting. We're still figuring out how to provide you the best user experience. Um, but yeah, you can get it for four ninety nine, and uh, can not only connect to uh, Android devices but also to computers like Mac, Windows. Um, here in my devices list, you see a bit where I connected it to to my phone, to your e-reader, S Kobo, uh, Pixel phone, twenty S twenty one. You can start scanning from the watch and see the device around or make it available for other devices so you can connect from them. But now I'm connected to Android uh, TV and yeah, it's, it's quite magic. So you have your, basically your, um, your setup in your pocket. Imagine this combo, it's wireless here. It's basically just that and this thing and you can have it in your pocket when on an airplane and uh, yeah, you just need to recharge this this little box. It's probably limited to three hours, I guess. Depends. Um, but there are also adapters that can charge that at the same time. A powerful power bank. Yeah, enjoy. One more thing, I can also pair it now, for example, with my iPad, just by selecting as pad and Going through mouse mode, you can draw mouse and scroll with the help of assistive touch. You can activate assistive touch and also deactivate gestures just by wiggling or shake your wrist. Um, but you can activate assistive touch in control center just by going there, add control, search for touch. And then there you have it. Pretty handy. Uh, from there you can go to YouTube. Control videos with uh, clicker mode. Move forward. And with play mode, you can pause play. With double tap, 
Oh, uh, just so we go to the next video. I want to show you in the last video. video in this video, I want to share some of the techniques that are used for the Middle Beast Soundstorm Festival. You can also where, uh, control audio with projection mapping on the stage design by click up and down. And yeah, that's it basically. Um, this is uh, Walmart Pro for Wear OS. One more, one more thing. Uh, <laughs> I have here an Apple Watch, and we launched in January Walmart for Apple Watch, but only with companion apps for Mac. And now we also released uh, support for Android. Installation is a bit tricky. You need to install an APK over Google Drive, or you connect uh, your stick with a USB cable, and then you can do uh, use apps or terminal to do ADB install and then install the app. And um, so this is a bit more for pro users, but uh, you can just uh, yeah look for look out for some tutorials how to install site load apps on android devices um maybe i should be the glasses um warmouse for apple watch is quite limited only to mouse uh, control let me make it sharp for now i have to use the remote um but i want to quickly show how you can activate the companion on uh, Android. Go to accessibility and then scroll down to Wamos companion. Okay. Yeah, now it's on again. And now I should be able to have on Apple Watch, you go to connection, start the workout, and then you see here in the list Android TV or some other names and uh yeah and then you should be able to see the cursor unfortunately there's a bug on android tv where tap isn't mapped to do enter but we're gonna fix that soon a short little teaser where this is going so apple watch support for android tv will soon come and for xreal so uh yeah enjoy